Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on Mathematics N2. Uh, in this platform, we have got the question that we are going to consider from the November 2022 question paper. Uh, that was question 3.4. Uh, there is something that we actually, uh, that I couldn't actually figure out that is very, very important in this question. Okay, I was actually rushing through this question, but uh, I want us to check something that we didn't mention uh, previously on 3.4. We were given that there is a sheet of paper in the shape of a, of a circle sector uh, formed to have a radius of 1,3 centimeters, okay? So that's a circle sector, which is this one. That's our sector, okay? So this is too much. Let's just try to reduce it here, all right? So we are given a sector in this case that is having a radius of 1,3 centimeters and an area. So you're given the radius, which is this one, 1,3 centimeters and an area of 0 0,6 square meters okay then we are given if the sector is bent okay in the shape of a cone calculate the perpendicular height of the cone okay so we are told that this is bent now to a cone okay it is bent into a cone so we are now referred to calculate the perpendicular height. Remember, this is our cone here, which gives us from this point uh, to this point, which is the radius, okay? So we are going to have this as uh, the height, okay? From this point up to the end, which is representing our perpendicular height, okay? So there is something that is important here. The, the sector that we have is the one that we used to create a cone okay and this cone is open at, at the top here all right our cone is open at the at the top so actually what we know is that from the cone that we are given okay we are going to relate so that we can obtain the radius and this can help us to find uh in this case to find the height, okay? So let's say from the sector that we are given here, if we were to calculate the total surface area, okay, we are going to have the total surface area because we are given our total surface area is 0, 0,6, okay? So on this point, the total surface area, because this is the one that was shifted, okay? The same area that we have here was just shifted to give us a cone. Take note, guys, we are from a sector to a cone. So on the cone, this six, same uh, area of 0, 0,6 is the same as the area of a cone. And we know that for a cone, the area is supposed to be uh, pi r l, which is the curved surface area, plus the area on the top here, which is the area of a circle. Take note, on the top here, we have a circle. So it was going to be pi r squared. But in this case, it's open because it's from a sector, which is will be open, okay? So uh, I'm going to link up in this video a, 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 another, uh, another video that I did actually representing or showing uh, practically how do you convert these two, okay? So now, because it's open, we are not going to have the pi r squared. It's going to be affected. So that means our cross... Uh, sectional area, which is the surface area, is going to be equivalent to pi RL, which is the curved surface area only. All right. And we can calculate the radius from this part here because we have got our L being uh, represented as uh, X. Here, this is our L. In this case, it's supposed to be the slant height, which is our X. In this case, it's supposed to be our X here, which is the same as the X, which was the radius for the sector. So the radius for the sector is equivalent to L, which is now on the, on the cone, okay? So that is 0, 0,6 is equivalent to pi times R, which is the one that we want to calculate, times L, which is 1,3. So remember I told you L 
is going to be R or R is going to be L. So to find the radius on the cone, because we have talked about a cone here, we need the radius of the cone. This is going to be divided by pi times 1,3 or 1,3 pi or 1,3 pi here. So this can cancel here. So the radius is going to be 0, 0,6 divided by 1,3 pi, which is 0, 0,147 centimeters. Okay. So we now have the radius, which is affecting the cone. The radius is 0, 0,147 meters. So the question is to calculate the perpendicular height. How can now we have the perpendicular height? Okay. Take note here, we have got uh, the slant height here, which is X. This X here, like I was saying from that previous uh, part that I was talking about that, from the indication how this diagram was drawn, it's a wrong presentation. Your X is supposed to be here, okay? So this is your X, okay, that we are referring to, okay? We've got our X here, which is the same X of 1,3. So this was supposed to be 1,3. So the diagram was wrongly drawn. Uh, I mean, this X, this is not supposed, X is supposed to be this slant height, okay? So I want you to understand this part. So you have the X, uh, which is 1,3, which I said radius is going to be L. And you have got the radius now, which is 0, 0,47. And we know that these two, they meet at 90 degrees from a cone. So we have got the radius and the slant height and the perpendicular height, which is taken from this formula now. Remember from our Pythagoras theorem that L squared is equivalent to R squared, all right? So this is going to be equivalent to R squared plus H squared. So as we are supposed to calculate H, so that is going to be L squared minus R squared, which is equal to H squared, then we find the square root. So H is going to be the square root of L squared minus R squared. So the L is the slant height now, which is that radius that we given before where we said radius is equal to L, which is 1,3, that is this height here. So it is going to be the square root of 1,3 squared minus the radius now, which is the other side from our Pythagoras theorem, is going to be 1,47 squared. So if we subtract this, we are going now to obtain the height, which is the perpendicular height now, which is the one that they wrote as X, but this is not supposed to be X. X is supposed to be these sides, and this becomes the height, okay? So our H being the height from this formula, it is going to be 1,292 if you round off properly in centimeters. Okay, so guys, the indication of the, the graph is, uh, the indication of these shapes is supposed to be very, very clearly indicated so that we avoid uh, the errors or we avoid mistakes as we are working these typical questions. Okay, so that was uh, the question on, on 3.4. I just hope we have uh, just a basic idea of what is happening in this diagram. But uh, like I said, I'm going to link up uh, the video, which is also part of the explanation of these two uh, shapes from a sector to a cone or from a cone to a sector. That's what we had, guys, uh, from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.